Hello YouTube, this is Arjun from ARJ Reviews and today let's take a look at Paranoid Android Build 1 for Android 1. I have been using this ROM for the past 3 days and this is my experience with this ROM. This ROM does, does come with many bugs This and it's well expected for a Build 1. And it also doesn't have any paranoid feature, paranoid Android feature integrated to this room, such as hover, peak, pi, etc. But it does come with the standard tweaks that every other custom ROM has. So first of all, let's take a look at these tweaks that are integrated to this room now. You does have the signature quick pull down here. That is pulling from the right will take you to the quick toggles and pulling from the left will also take you to quick toggles because you don't have any notifications here. When you guys have any notifications, it will take you to the notification itself. Let me take a screenshot now. And now you have a notification there and pulling from the left will take you directly to the notification. And pulling from the right will take you to the quick toggles. You cannot customize these things because this is a build one drone. You can either activate or deactivate your SIM card slots, which is a nice feature to have, but unfortunately this feature doesn't work in this room. When you try to deactivate a SIM, it just keeps on rotating, deactivating, deactivating, etc. Nothing happens in this room. As it's a built one, all these are expected. The stock launcher that this ROM comes with is Launcher 3, which is this launcher. It's close to Google Now Launcher. Without having that Google now, the extreme left side. CM theming engine also is integrated to this ROM. It's a very nice feature to have. Anybody can customize their phone according to their liking from status bar, notification bar, the whole system UI to anything and everything in this ROM, which is a nice feature to have. Under display, you don't have many features to customize. You only have LCD density and also show search bar in recent menu which will enable or disable the status search bar which is shown in the recent menu. Now we don't have a search bar there. Then there is also double tap to sleep in status bar which is integrated to this row. It's nice to have. Also advanced location for QG setting is also available in this row. Under location QG toggle you guys can switch between high accuracy battery saving and device only between these without going into the location and you guys have to agree that first of all let me off my location now and the bug that I encountered here is that changing the DPI will obviously re soft reboot your device and soft rebooting will change your sim card names to card 1 and card 1 also some of the system apps gets unfortunately closed let me show you guys now let's change the dpa to the default value this is the paranoid android boot animation and it's a very nice boot animation to have the device will get reboot in five seconds i think After the reboot, when you unlock your device first, it stutters and it lags a bit. It's expected. You guys can see now that there is an unfortunately the process .android phone has stopped. This thing repeats for some times. And this is a bit annoying. But it only happens when you change the, your DPI. And also the SIM card, also there will be a dialog box which will prompt you to select the SIM cards for mobile data and call etc. That thing also gets repeated for some times and it's a bit annoying. So these are, the, uh, these are some of the bugs that I encountered in this room. Under sound and notifications, you don't have many things to customize. You can either link ringtone and notification volume. And also you can launch your music app when connecting a 
headset. These are the only tweaks that you get under sound and notifications. You can also customize the functionality of your navigation bar. You can set the long press action, double tap action, short press action and long press action of menu and home button. The backlight feature is disabled here which is of no use for Canva 7 devices or any other Android one devices as we have an on-screen navigation bar. Multi-user facility is available in this ROM but adding a user will just reboot the device which is a little bit annoying but it's nice to have that feature which is not available in stock ROM right. And anybody who has used exposed module will uh, obviously know about app ops. You will have used this module at any time. Uh, so for you guys who don't know about app ops, app ops will allow you to control what an app can access in your device. You can also control every system app as well as every app that you guys install from play store here you guys can see that the amazon app normally can access my camera and location so you can either enable or disable it according to your wish uh, so disabling this feature disabling this thing will make sure that the amazon app doesn't access the camera or location you can customize what every app can access that is you can customize it with every individual app here this is a nice feature to have and overall this is a smooth ROM it's also a very stable ROM but it does have some bugs so let's get into the bugs now many system app not system app many apps get crashed every screen recording app gets crashed in this device you guys can see that AC screen recorder has stopped and I also have another screen recorder this thing also gets crashed sometimes whatsapp and BitTorrent also gets crashed all these are expected in a built one ROM and talking about the battery life in this ROM it has been really amazing I was getting about 4 hours of screen on time and I have been using this ROM for 3 days. 4 hours of screen on time in a usage of 12 hours. That's that's really nice. I can show you guys that. You guys can see here that the screen on time is about 4 hours. It's really nice to have. But you guys will also notice that uh, Miscellaneous is what takes your battery more. Hopefully all these will be all these bugs will be fixed in the coming updates. There is also a paranoid Android OTA updater integrated to this ROM. But the problem is that now I don't have any internet connection to show you guys that. The problem is that when you check for an update, it just shows that error sprout for does not exist. So this may be a feature which is not fully done and as always this is a build one ROM. Everything should be expected from this ROM. It's really fast and it's also stable, pretty much stable uh, other than all those crashes. So if you guys want to check this ROM just check the link in the description and like and subscribe my channel for more custom ROM reviews of Android devices as well as app reviews. So bye.